hi guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to teach you a new topic called hydrocarbon do you have any idea about the hydrocarbons hydrocarbon or hydrocarbon same thing hydrocarbon in that we have two elements hydrogen and carbon so we have two elements hydrogen and carbon we know both are non-metals they join together by means of a covalent bond and form a new class of the compound called hydrocarbons hydrocarbons are basically organic compounds what does organic compound mean i will tell you later on so hydrogen and carbon how they join together they join together by a mean by means of a bond called covalent covalent and you know that a covalent bond is formed by sharing a pair of electron between two non metal you know hydrogen is a non metal and carbon is a non metal and this hydrocarbon i told you is the beginning compound of organic chemistry so this is a class of the compound which constitute organic chemistry organic chemistry and we know that organic chemistry has vital element which is nothing but carbon so my question is that why carbon is a major or important element for the organic chemistry any idea guys without carbon we do not have organic chemistry so carbon is an important element of all the organic compounds let's see briefly about the carbon and where it is present in the periodic table and why carbon is so important so carbon carbon we know it is a non metal carbon c 6 h 12 it has six electron so its electronic configuration is electronic configuration it's 1 s2 2 s2 2 p2 okay so it has four electron in the outermost shell that's why carbon is placed in the group four we have group four element carbon silicon carbon is placed in group four it has four electron two electron in the s orbital and two electron in the p orbital p has three orbitals px py and pz but it has two electron in the p orbital so why my question is why carbon is an important element of an organic chemistry of an organic organic chemistry why the carbon is an important first of all carbon can form four bonds but look at the electronic configuration of the carbon this is called ground state electronic configuration this is called ground state electronic configuration in that configuration carbon cannot form four bonds the tendency and the property of the carbon is to make four bonds four covalent bonds but with that electronic configuration it is not possible to make four bonds so what we will do we will excite one of the electron from 2s to 2p excite one of the electron from 2s to 2p now look at the excited state electronic configuration of the carbon one and three here now one a two a three in that excited state of the excited state of excited state electronic configuration of carbon it can easily form four covalent bond one from s and three from p so it has s p three hybridization so carbon can form four bonds 
easily for covalent bond easily so from that explanation we can understand that carbon can make four bonds in all the organic compound carbon can form four bonds whether they are single double or triple we will discuss later on but they can form four bonds okay so carbon can form four bonds mean carbon has covalency which is called tetravalent so carb first important po point why the carbon is an important element of all the organic compound first it can form four covalent bonds okay so it has a tetravalency tetravalency it exhibits tetravalency it exhibits tetravalency one more point second point throughout the organic compounds or throughout the organic chemistry carbon can form single bond a double bond or a triple bond yeah this property is also exhibits in silicon but it is rare carbon is the only element which can easily form multiple bonds some element also form multiple bonds but not to the large extent so it can form multiple bonds in organic compounds it can form multiple bonds such as single bond double bond triple bond i will give i will explain you what's the another name of single bond what's the another name of double bond the carbon can form multiple bonds like a single bond double bond and triple bond in all organic compounds we have discussed two major properties of the carbon why the carbon is an important element in organic compounds one it can form covalent four covalent bonds mean it can show tetravalency it exhibits tetravalency second point is that it can form multiple bonds silicon also sometimes form multiple bonds but silicon though it is present in the group four but it form multiple bonds very rarely now next point carbon can link carbon can link with another carbon which is further continue and make a long chain this property of carbon is called self linking property self linking self linking property of carbon it can make a long chain which is called a catenation power catenation power we have seen in carbon is maximum and that catenation power is decreasing when you go down the group of group 4 element like carbon has highest catenation power then we have silicon self linking power carbon can link with another carbon you can't see this type of self linking in any other non metals silicon is a non metal it show but uh, the extension of catenation power is less in silicon so carbon can form four covalent bonds carbon can form multiple bonds and self linking properties like catenation these are the three major properties of carbon which can form which can which can associate it to the hydrocarbon or which 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 is the main properties of the carbon to constitute organic compounds we have some other stuff some other properties of the carbon which also helpful to make carbon as an important element so we are not working all other properties now hydrocarbon we know hydrocarbon is a class of the compound it has only carbon and hydrogen okay it can so this hydrocarbon is further divided into two types 
hydrocarbon which has only carbon and hydrogen there's a one mark question what is meant by the term hydrocarbons hydrocarbon is a class of the organic compound having carbon and hydrogen only you have to mention hydrogen carbon and hydrogen only if you want to extend your answer you can add they are bonded each other by means of a covalent bond now hydrocarbon you can divide it, this hydrocarbon into two types any idea yes saturated hydrocarbon saturated hc meaning hydrocarbon and unsaturated unsaturated hydro carbon i will tell you what <clears throat> what does saturated mean and what does unsaturated mean okay now carbon and hydrogen carbon and hydrogen carbon can form four bond a hydrocarbon in which carbon can form four bond and all the four bonds are single then such hydrocarbons are called saturated hydrocarbon so carbon can form four bond here in saturated hydrocarbon carbon can form four bonds for covalent bonds and all these bonds are single what's the another name of single bond any idea single bond is also called as sigma bond okay so carbon can form four bond and all those four bonds are single such hydrocarbons are called saturated hydrocarbons four bonds and all are single okay carbon can form four bond and all are single with four hydrogen atom with four like non metals okay <clears throat> carbon can form four bonds and all are single all these bonds are single then then such saturated su such hydrocarbons are called such hc are called saturated are called saturated saturated hydrocarbons okay here here carbon can form four bond no doubt carbon can form four bond and all are not single bond some are double some are triple bond so carbon can form four bond but they are not single bonds carbon can form carbon can form no doubt four bonds four covalent bonds but they are or they do not need to be single but they are not single could be double double or triple such hydrocarbons are called unsaturated hydrocarbons such hc are called unsaturated hydrocarbons in unsaturated hydrocarbons we have two types double bonded hydrocarbons and carbon carbon double bond hydrocarbon and carbon carbon triple bond hydrocarbons we will deal we will study all these compound slowly now saturated hydrocarbon again one more time saturated hydrocarbons are those organic compound in which carbon can form four bond and all these bonds are single bond what's the another name of single bond sigma bond i'm writing sigma bond what's the another name of double bond double bond is nothing but carbon carbon double bond which is also called pi bond sigma bond or pi bond sigma and pi pi bond okay double bond 
phi bond or a sigma bond. Now, we have a very specific name for saturated hydrocarbon. Any idea what we call saturated hydrocarbon? Saturated hydrocarbon is called alkane. That's a very specific name which is alkane. No. So alkane is a class of the organic compound having four single bond in which carbon can form four single bond. We call these compounds are alkane. Alkanes are saturated hydrocarbon. We now know that alkanes are saturated hydrocarbon. Let's see. Alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons. Oh, saturated hydrocarbons are nothing but alkanes. Alkane or alkanes, which are nothing but saturated HCs. What does it mean, guys? What does it mean? It means that saturated hydro alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons in which carbon can form four bond and all are single. So carbon can form four bond and all are single. We have a journal formula for writing alkane. So journal formula, journal formula for writing alkanes. C N H 2 N plus 2. N is just a number. There is nothing. We have a journal formula for writing alkanes which is C N H 2 N plus 2. To proceed further, we have to learn some basic thing in organic chemistry. So, if we have one carbon, what we call that one carbon compound? Let's see. So, alkanes are nothing but saturated hydrocarbons in which carbon can form four bonds and all are single. What's the another name of single bond? Sigma bond. So, what is the journal formula for writing hydrocarbon CnH2n plus 2? This is the journal formula for writing alkane that is CnH2n plus 2 where n is just a number. So, in next lesson, I will continue the remaining properties of the alkane. Thanks for watching my videos.